speaking about what's in our air, tiny levels of radiation from Japan have been detected in the United States. Now, that has many Oklahomans worried about our air and our drinking water. On top of the Department of Environmental Quality sits a monitor. Its sole job is to test levels of radiation in our air. This is something that's done all the time. These monitors are stationary, and they've been there for quite some time. And while this monitor's job hasn't changed, the crisis in Japan has increased awareness. These monitors do record continuous data. However, we have stepped up our communication with EPA and other federal agencies um, in light of what's taking place in Japan. The data from this monitor is sent directly to the Environmental Protection Agency and is available on their website to anyone who's interested. Users can click on a map of the United States and read the graph for levels in Oklahoma. It is important to know if there are elevated levels of radiation in the state. There are other sources of radioactive materials that we need to, to monitor and be aware of. So far, tiny traces of radiation have been detected in 14 different states, but not in Oklahoma. In fact, the EPA's website says to date, levels recorded in Oklahoma have been thousands of times below any conservative level of concern. But DEQ officials say, rest assured, if levels do go up, the public would be alerted immediately. We would work with the appropriate federal agencies to determine the next steps. We would also provide information for the public so that they could protect their safety. Now, officials say any levels that have been detected in the United States so far are not enough to cause concern. As for drinking water, DEQ officials say that all public water systems in Oklahoma are required to routinely monitor for a number of things to ensure public safety.